Hi everybody, this is Camden Boats. Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. And today, we're going to finish up the town hall. Actually, I already finished it up. There's just a couple things I need to do. Um, <clears throat> let's go check it out. I just made some leads because I have an idea. Now, let's try this idea out first and then I will take you on a tour of the uh, town hall. Um, so I've got this pain in the butt chicken that I put up there and I found out what this is because I looked at the picture a little closer and it's a uh, bell tower obviously there are little windows at the very top in the roof and uh, I'll kind of show you what that looks like first let's get up there I'm hoping that this works I'm not a hundred percent positive that it will um, but dragging that guy all the way up was a pain. Hopefully it doesn't break right here. Okay, we're good so far. Now, uh, um, why? I put this up higher. Okay. Well, that's kind of a bummer, because I don't want it to be up that high. Hmm. That kind of stinks. I'm going to leave him up there, or it. I don't even. It's a female, right? It's a chicken. Um. But anyway, let me show you real quick. Uh, probably the most expensive bell ever. <laughs> An anvil and a hopper. Um, and I had a iron bar up there to look like kind of like chain or a, a... You know, that would be the chain and this would be the swivel here. And then this would be the bell. Um, but I thought, you know what? If I could put a lead down, it would look like there's a rope to pull the, the bell. Um, and so I know a lot of people use chickens to do similar things. Okay, let's see how high I can go, maybe. Ha! Alright. That could work. Let's see here. Um, I'm going to take some of this, and then we'll just repair it as we go. All right, now where's my lead? Oh, he's probably got it, right? Or she? She's probably got it. Let's get up here. Okay, there it is. And just in case, because I'm not sure how that works. I don't think it does. Um, okay, and then right click, or yeah, nice. Not quite as low as I wanted it, but uh, that's okay. Now I could, well, see if I go up one more. I mean, it could work, but um, then that's going to be on the wrong side again. <laughs> Maybe I should. Oh. Let's see. Because if I made it here. I'm just gonna leave it. <laughs> I'm gonna, I'm gonna make it worse. Um, okay, I'll need more fence because I want this to be a, a rail here. So I'll need another one of those. Yeah, that works. Not, not exactly. And then I'll put the pillar back in here. I might make it stone, a stone pillar up. So it breaks it up a little bit. In fact, I think I will. That way it breaks it up a little bit. Oop. So, starting with the clock tower on the interior. Showed you how I did it. Um, I'll put another rail in there. I used iron bars for windows because in the picture it looks like they're regular windows, but why would you have regular windows, right? Don't you want the sound to go out? Anyway. 
we'll start with the interior first. So there's my portal, and I thought it would be kind of cool to have the windows in the background, so I made the portal the entire size. Our pews for our citizens who come to visit the, the council and the, the town governor or the mayor or whoever you want to call them. Uh, and just to break up the uh, look here, I put the uh, uh, trap doors. Um, and then I put the acacia doors because I figured, you know, the authority of the city would have taller chairs. And just to uh, break up the room again, I put the acacia logs. Um, and I did trap doors. I had two extras, so I just went ahead and put them there. Um, portal entry here. Cleaned it up a little bit. Um, I think it looks pretty pretty good. Um, yeah, anyway. That's the interior. Obviously, use different wood types to, to break up the colors a little bit. Um, could add banners in here if I ever decided to do a banner. Alright, I'm all rested up and away from the storm. Let's go take a look at this. Uh, I love this wall. I'm just, I'm really happy with the way it came out. Simple, and yet it just looks really good. It really makes uh, this road stand out. Anyway, here's the uh, town hall. Let me get around here so you can see it better. There it is. So, <clears throat> the bell tower looks pretty nice. And so what I did with the stone uh, differently, make sure nothing's sneaking up on me. Um, instead of staggering the, the brick and the stone, I just made it look more like um, aged. So like the whole thing was at one time stone, uh, or brick rather, and the brick is just worn down from the wind and rain. Um, and so I did that on the bigger, the broader surfaces, and then where, wherever it was narrow, I just left it uh, as stone. Um, but I thought it turned out pretty good. Um, and then, of course, I used the andesite. <laughs> yeah, it's andesite, I think. Uh, I put that as border around the windows um, and around the... What the around the uh, doors or yeah doors um, make sure yeah guess I forgot to do some of this stuff there we go all right this side's all done this looks a little bit much maybe uh, yeah, maybe just a tad bit. Let's uh, let's do this. See what this looks like first. Yeah, I don't want to make it completely diagonal, so I could. Maybe I should have done it opposite there. Do I have any? I don't have any on me stone. Well. It's just, um, if we just took this out. And then maybe this. Yeah. Kind of don't like that one either, but that's all right. If it bothers me that much, I'll go back and change it. Uh, <clears throat> so I incorporated the acacia again. Uh, as an accent piece. Uh, looks pretty good. Um, used cobble just to break up the, the stone brick look. Uh, so our entrance looks pretty good. The roof, whew, man that was a pain. Um, not so much this roof, but the uh, bell tower roof. Yeah, whoa. Oh, I forgot it's double roof. Um, so this one turned out great, and of course I made sure that my building, when I counted the layout, that it worked out so that the roofs, um, the two 
grooves would meet like they did there. That's just like what it is in the picture also. Uh, but the bell tower, I went through many, 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 many times. Um, wow, look at him go. <laughs> I guess it is nighttime. Um, so in the picture, they have the four points here, four different roofs for each side, just like you see here. And then it's got a point in the middle. They just It's like a steeple. Um, but on this, I couldn't get it to really stand out as, as tall, and so I had to kind of uh, do it the way I did it here. Um, so it doesn't look spectacular, the steeple part, I mean, but uh, it, it looks all right. Um, it, it serves its purpose, <laughs> and I know it's a steeple. You know it's a steeple. Uh, if you think that... You know, you could work it out uh, to look better than I did. Uh, have at it. Um, let me know uh, if you if you see something that looks better. But I tried many different iterations of the the stairs and the planks and everything, and uh, that's that's the best. Um, it came out the best looking that that way. So. You know, it, it was a fun build. Uh, the biggest build that we've had on this sur on this uh, world, rather, the barn was pretty big. The wall actually was probably the biggest, but uh, this took a lot of me going back and forth and adjusting and, and so on and so forth. So uh, I'm pretty proud of it. Let me know in the comments or in a Twitter feed uh, what you guys think of it. You know, do you think it could you could uh, make it look better uh... do you think it looks great um, you know let me know those things uh... obviously help and of course you can always leave a like uh, that uh... helps me uh... to to keep doing this and uh... you know i enjoy doing it no matter what but uh... the likes and the comments definitely help me to uh... either improve or if something uh, isn't satisfactory to you guys, you know, is it's not entertaining to you or or doesn't help you to uh, or inspire you to build something, then, uh, you know, let me know. Uh, that's why I'm doing these videos. I, I want something fresh and new other than just me playing a game. I really want to involve people and share, share what I do with people. So um, that's the whole point of doing this. I also want to do a quick shout out to all my new subscribers. And Twitter followers, uh, I had a huge increase in the last uh, two days um, of subscribers and uh, and Twitter followers, and I just want to say thank you uh, from the bottom of my heart. Uh, it really means a lot to me. I hope I can keep you guys entertained and um, you know keep your subscription. And uh, anyway, until next time, guys. Wait, let's get out of here first. See you, bye.